my name is uh, Matteo Maurizio and I'm uh, within uh, Fight Operations. Uh, I am the pilot in charge of the airlift uh, programs and the UES. Today we'll be talking about the C27J, which is the most effective multi-mission uh, airlifter in its class available on the market today. Thanks uh, to his exceptional structural strength, system redundancy and uh, autonomous operation capability, the Spartan offers unique qualities not found in aircraft of the same class or derived from commercial turboprops. Spartan is a remarkably robust tactical airlifter with state-of-the-art technology in avionics, a powerful turboprop propulsion system delivering very good performance, extreme operational flexibility and cost effectiveness. We are now sitting in the cockpit of the new C27J, which uh, has the new avionic suite. Uh, we have two FMS, which is a perfect mix between tactical capabilities uh, and uh, requirements for the performance-based navigation, which will be the new standard to navigate all over the world in the near future. Then, we have the new radar, we have uh, five MFDs with new symbology, which uh, reduced a lot the pilot workload, providing him with a better situation awareness. Main purpose of these new winglets, which are installed as a standard configuration, is to increase the climb gradient of an airplane, especially in a single engine condition, or for a given weight, and the same climb gradient to increase the payload up to 1,000 kilos. C27J is designed with a focus on battlefield operations. It was designed from scratches to be an airplane to operate even in high threat areas. To accommodate that, it is embodied with a DAS system. Here we can see some antennas of DAS. It has a missile warner, it has a laser warner, chaff affair dispenser, and secure communication and also a ballistic protection for the crew. The combination of this system together with the maneuverability of the airplane allows us, the cockpit, the pilots and the crew to operate in a much safer um, way inside high threat environments. So dispensing chamfer flare while maneuvering low level and exploiting terrain masking increase a lot mission survivability of the airplane in a high threat environment. As you can see, everything is black, so with just flipping one switch, the aircraft becomes fully MNG compatible. And this is good because it was designed from scratches to be an MNG compatible. It's not an airplane which has modification to commit the MNG requirements. And uh, we also have option, it's not in this airplane, the head-up display, which increases enormously pilot awareness and reduces pilot workload. Another unique characteristic of the C-37 is the presence of the APU. The APU allows the airplane to be operated in complete autonomous operation and doesn't require any outside assistance, which allows full freedom to operate in battlefield, in remote areas, both in humanitarian uh, um, missions and in combat sorties. The presence of the APU together with the providing electrical power. It also provides uh, hydraulic power, which allows the airplane to be lowered up and down to match any kind of uh, tracks, and this will ease a lot the operation of cargo loading. 